what's going on traders uh hopefully everybody had a green day today um as you can tell in the title breaking rules you know you know what comes with breaking rules <laughs> it's usually not good um traded uh two stocks today um right on both stocks so i'll uh Get in the charts and break down uh, my trades and show you exactly why I did, what I did, and how I did it. So, let's get into it. So, on this uh, PSTV um, pre-market, I seen there was like a triple top up here. Like this 305 area. So, I seen this huge pullback. This pin bar right here. Didn't even register. I had a pre-market order set already to short at 305. Well, this thing started squeezing, filled me instantly, and I caught the trade at 320. So it has a huge pullback, and then my buys flipped because the stock can run. So once we broke that 305, I thought the stock was pretty bullish, so I bought it. 325 and then I ended up selling a 307 and then so that was two bad trades and it's gapping up so that was um, that was the only two trades I took on the stock and uh, the stock got crushed so I was wrong on all three so after them two trades, I'm like, all right, maybe it's just not my day to trade today unless I see something phenomenal. Well, then I see uh, I see this, AIHS. Pre-market, I seen this huge pullback, and then I figured <coughs> the market makers are at least going to keep this above a dollar. So I'll just take a starter position here at 117. And I was up on the trade right here, about 50 bucks. And then market opens, squeezes. Has a little pullback, squeezes even higher. And then when I seen uh, we couldn't make a higher high right here, I got short. And then comes crashing down. And then, uh, let's see here. Is it pop back up? I uh, covered my position. And then it tanks a little bit. And then it starts coming back up. Gets halted. This thing got halted upside, downside. Up, down. It just really strange. That's why I don't like these stocks that are a dollar. Because they get halted so quick. Anyhow, I got short again. We come out of the halt comes to the it breaks lower which is strange so I got short and then it squeezes again so I covered so at this point I'm just like really really frustrated I'm like all right you've already lost the f five trades I mean right here I could have took the profit right here I could have took the profit and I would have probably been break even on the day but I didn't and Right here, I take another stab at it. Um, once I seen this flush again, um, and it kind of broke the speed line right here, I, I took another uh, short right here, and then I just covered my position because I just wasn't I wasn't feeling it. And what I was looking at on this chart, if I pull up a uh, TD Ameritrade's charts. What I was comparing this off of is right here. This stock can close strong. So once I seen it start pushing higher and higher and higher, this was in the back of my mind. So I'm like, the stock gapped up. Um, we broke pre-market highs, and it's pushing stronger. And... You know what? 
I haven't been right on a trade yet. Well, I was, but I just didn't take profit. So I guess I got greedy on a lot of my trades. So I just cut it, lost $5 on this trade, and then the rest of the day I got crushed. So could have been a break-even day, or if not, just a small red day. But the greed got in the way, and just uh, my mindset wasn't there today. So I ended up uh, taking taking a red day. So I'll show you my P and L. So I lost three hundred and ninety four dollars today. There's all my fills. So all in all, it wasn't a good day, but you know what? I'll live to trade another day, and you're gonna have red days with green days. So it just comes with part of trading. Um, but yeah, greed got in the way today, and. Uh, the way I was looking at support and resistance uh, got in the way as well. So until next time, traders, uh, peace out.